Oh, wow. Am I glad Thanksgiving is over? That's the one thing I'm thankful for. I feel like I've been cooking for days. Maybe because I have. Now what to do with all those leftovers? Well, I'm going to show you what to do with all those leftovers. I've got three really easy recipes that I'm going to show you how to do right now. Now's the time to get rid of that big old turkey carcass. No, don't throw it away. We're going to make turkey noodle soup. Just like me, there's plenty of meat on them old bones, and we're going to throw that old carcass into a pot and make the most delicious soup out of them. I throw in the skin too. There's a lot of seasonings on the skin. First, you'll need an eight quart kettle and place the carcass in it. Fill with enough water just to cover the bones, approximately five quarts, and add seven chicken bouillon cubes and a bay leaf. Heat to boiling and then lower the heat. Cover and simmer for an hour until the meat is falling off the bones. Remove from the stove and let cool so you can easily remove the bones in the bay leaf. Discard the bones and return the meat to the soup. Add about one and a half cups chopped celery, including some leaves, one chopped onion, one tablespoon salt, half teaspoon black pepper, a half a cup chopped parsley, one cup sliced carrots, and one cup green beans. I threw in a couple of scoopfuls of leftover green bean casserole. Heat to boiling and then reduce the heat and simmer until the vegetables are just tender, about 10 minutes. Add one 12 ounce package of egg noodles and cook for another 10 minutes uncovered. In a small pan, melt a quarter cup butter and add a third a cup all-purpose flour. Stir and make a blonde color roux. Add to the soup and return to boil and stir until thickened. I prefer my soup to be more like stooped and not very watery, but if you prefer less thickness, cut down on the flour. It's dinner time, ladle out into bowls and chow down. I freeze individual portions and use on those nights when you need to get something out on the table in a hurry or just when you want some comfort food. This will last in your freezer for months if your family doesn't gobble it up sooner. The next recipe is a recent addition to family favorites. For lack of a better name, I'm calling this recipe turkey balls. This recipe uses leftover dressing, turkey, and gravy. The only thing you need extra for this recipe is panko. Heat up that oil in the turkey pot because we're going to use that again too. Take your dressing and get it nice and mushy. Add a little chicken broth if you need to. Make a little half ball in the palm of your hand and hollow out the center. Add some of those small turkey pieces that were too small for sandwiches. Spoon in some gravy and then make a lid to cover it all. Round it out and then roll your balls in panko. You can make dinner sized portions like I did or make them more dirt sized and smaller. Once you have your balls ready to deep fry, heat your pot full of oil back up to 350 degrees. I'm using the crawfish oil insert, but you can use any french fry insert or mesh colander with a handle. Be very careful inserting and retrieving your balls and wear heavy duty gloves and long sleeves when frying. It will only take several minutes for your balls to turn golden brown and heat it all the way through. Take them out and let them cool a bit. Serve them up with your favorite side. I like to freeze them for future meals as by now I'm a little turkeyed out. They freeze great in a Ziploc bag and you can thaw them out by the buncher individually. One of my favorite recipes because it's so easy to make and uses up a ton of leftovers is shepherd's pie. My kids always love this and it will use up leftover mashed potatoes and vegetables. I happen to have had roast beef the night before, so I used the meat and gravy from that. I also had some leftovers from a vegetable platter and string bean casserole that I was able to throw in and use. For a quick and easy fix, use a pound of crumbled and cooked hamburger and a can of gravy. If you didn't have any leftover veggies, you can always use a bag of mixed vegetables. Heat everything up and make sure the vegetables are just starting to soften. Spray a four quart casserole dish and spread a thin layer of potatoes in the bottom and the meat and veggies into the middle. Spread another layer of mashed potatoes into a three inch circle on top. Sprinkle parmesan cheese over that. My family really likes parmesan cheese, so I have a tendency to heap that on in generous amounts. But hey, that's just me. Bake in a 375 degree oven until the top is golden brown, about 45 minutes. Everything is in one dish, so cleanup is a breeze too. Poof out and serve up and voila, dinner. 
I hope you will try and enjoy these recipes I've just shared with you as much as I've enjoyed making them. Here's to making leftovers disappear, along with a glass of wine or two. I'm the roving wino.